Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak and unlock your 2G iPhone, uh, jailbreak the 3G and the first gen iPod Touch. I do not know how to jailbreak the 3G and there's no way to jailbreak, or sorry, I do not know how to unlock the 3G and I do not know if there is even a way to jailbreak the 2G iPod Touch yet. The dev team is working on it, so keep your eyes out for that. First, what you have to do is open up iTunes. You have to have 8.0 or later. Um, what you will do is click update if your iTunes already said that there's a new update available and you can get it or whatever. So just update it to the new 2.2 firmware. And then once it's updated, it's going to say software, software version 2.2. So you know it's updated to new firmware. I will have a link to the uh, firmwares for the iPod Touch, iPhone 3G, and iPhone 1st Gen, um, just in case you need it. So what what you can do instead of doing update from here, you can press Shift on Windows and click Check for Update, and it's gonna take you to well whatever you saved it in, and it's gonna have your iPhone 2.2 restore. So then after it has updated um, you open up quick pwn and it's gonna detect your device so it has a blue arrow but quick pwn it looks just like the one that was on 2.0 2.1 and 2.2 now 2.2 firmware they all look the same and um, everything that you do is the same so that's pretty good if you've done it before if not it's really easy you can do it for the first one so, after you press the blue arrow, it's going to detect your device. I have a first gen iPhone right now uh, running. It's our, I already did mine 2.2 firmware. Um, it is running. Uh, let me get the passcode. It is running 2.2 firmware. As you can see, I have Cydia and installer. I just did it last night. Um, my router broke down, so. I have to go buy a new one, so I can't really do anything else. Um, like, get anything from City or Installer, but they're there. And you still, if you had 2.1, you had cracked apps and everything else, it's going to stay the same. You're still going to have all your contacts. It is actually going to stay unlocked on T Mobile, but you won't be able to use it. So, whatever. So, that kind of sucks. Anyway, QuickBone is then going to detect your device. And what you would do then is browse for the iPhone software update. Um, and that this is the update that uh, you've already downloaded. So you go there, you press it. So then it's going to uh, make sure that that's the right software for the iPhone. Last night I kind of got scared because it took a while for it. Uh, more than it did when I was updated 2.1. So I was like, well... Um, but it works fine so at this point I am actually going to take out the connector for my iPhone because I do not want to go through this process again so it has a check mark there and what you do is just click the blue arrow I'll dis disconnect mine and then blue arrow and it, you can choose if you want to add Cydia and installer and I will do this just to show for the purposes you can unlock your first gen iPhone replace boot logos I do not know if that works I like the Apple logo personally so I haven't tried it so then again you just press the blue arrow and if you are if you clicked on unlock iPhone then it's gonna ask you to uh, select the bootloader files and you help and I will have the link for those and then two checks, blue arrow. And now it's gonna say, please ensure your device is connected via USB for you before continuing. Mine isn't, so I can't show you what it does. Um, so basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna ask you, let me make sure I'm getting this. It's gonna say, hold down the home button for five seconds so one two three 
4, 5, except it's a lot slower. Then you're going to hold down the home and power button for 10. And it's going to say, release the home, or power button, release the power button, and keep the home button pressed. Uh, and it says for 30 seconds, but um, after mine at 21, it just like went on to the next step, but I kept pressing it until a good minute just in case and I don't know if that really matters but mine works fine it now is running 2.2 firmware just to prove that too let's go to settings in general about and there it says version 2.2 and it is unlocked T-Mobile. So that's my iPhone. And that's a jailbreak and unlock for 2.2 firmware.